So we've got a new hit movie this summer. That would be Twisters. Now, I went and saw Twisters Saturday. Saturday afternoon, actually. Saw it at the matinee. And um, the theater I was in, it was probably about, I'll say, maybe a third full. Which, on a Saturday afternoon, I expect it not to be, you know, 100% capacity. But it's about a third full. And uh, gotta say, I enjoyed it. Now, for those of you that don't know, Twisters, starring Glenn Powell, who's become an A-lister in Hollywood. I mean, shoot. A couple years ago, he was co-starring in uh, Top Gun Maverick with Tom Cruise. And then uh, he was also in Anything But You with Sidney Sweeney. Um, it's, it's a loosely based sequel to the original 1996 movie Twister starring uh, Bill Paxton and uh, Helen Hunt. And uh, I got to say, I, I, was, I was impressed. Um, did not get a lot of the, actually didn't get any of the global activist climate change, global warming crap BS in the movie, which I was, I was pleasantly surprised to see. Um, I wish they would have done a few more wide shots of some of the action. Um, I mean, it's a disaster movie. You got to have those nice wide shots to get the full emphasis of the disaster. Um, a couple things I think they missed, which I thought would have been really cool. First thing is when um, Kate goes home to her mom, I think it would have been really cool to tie it into the original movie if Kate was actually the daughter of Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton's characters from the original movie. I think that would have been even though it's a little cliche, I think it would have been a nice surprise considering the fact when the movie opens, you see her and her team storm chasing and they're going to do a real, a real world test of her, of her theory of imploding a tornado using Dorothy five, which is kind of a tie in to the first movie. Remember the first movie had, I think Dorothy's one, two, three, and four. So, Again, I think it would have been cool if they would have done that. Now, the last thing I think they had a missed opportunity on is they had to make Kate the girl boss who saves the day. If they would have gone down the same road as the original movie, because remember, Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton both teamed up to save the day in Twister. If they would have had Glenn Powell's character... And then um, have Kate, I forget Glenn Powell's character's name. Let me see if I can find it here. Anyway, if they would have had those two team up to save the day, I think that would have been a better ending. My opinion. You may disagree with that opinion. If you agree with it, disagree with it, comment down below. So let's uh, get into the nuts and bolts of the weekend, shall we? This is from Comic Book Cosmic Book News. Matt McGloin, Twister's exploding with a seventy-five million dollar opening. No climate change BS. Thank you. <clears throat> the new Twister's movie, starring Glenn Powell and directed by Lee Isaac Chung, is off to a whirlwind start as the flick is exploding at the box office with an estimated $72 million opening. Well, according to the numbers, the domestic is actually $80.5 million. But I'll, I'll say this. This article was written um, yesterday. Man, written on the 21st. And as of this morning, we're at $80.5 million domestic. 42.7. International, so 123.2 million worldwide. It's just a shame this movie was released a week before Deadpool and Wolverine. Otherwise, I think it would have some more legs to it. 
Original estimates were around 40 to 50 million, but thanks to previews, which kicked off Wednesday and a great Friday, Twisters brought in 31 million in its first day. The number will be the best for a natural disaster film, not counting inflation. Saturday update, Twisters is doing even better now with an estimated 75 million opening. Friday blew up with 32.2 million. So as Matt points out here in his article, and I stated right off the top, this movie's not preachy. There's no references to global warming, climate change, climate extremism, none of that, which is refreshing, especially coming out of Hollywood. And quoting the director, who is Lee Isaac Chung, he says, I just wanted to make sure that with the movie, we don't ever feel like it is putting forward any message. Oh my gosh. The message isn't there. <gasps> I just don't feel like films are meant to be message oriented. No, they're not. They're meant to be entertaining and Twisters is entertaining. A scene does say storms and floods are becoming more frequent, but it's not in your face messaging. See, there's nothing wrong with that because that is part of the story. I think what we're doing is showing the reality of what's happening on the ground. We don't shy away from saying that things are changing. I wanted to make sure that we were never creating a feeling that we're preaching a message because that's certainly not what I think cinema should be about. I think it should be about a reflection of the world. Well, needless to say, like me, a lot of fans are loving it. In fact, Rotten Tomatoes right now, it's got an audience score of 92%, uh, critics score 77 so it's not surprising that the audience likes it and the critics are kind of, mm, that's not a surprise to me at all. In fact, if you dive deeper in here, top critics is 76, verified audience is 92, all audience is 89, 4.4 out of 5. So, yeah, the movie's been received pretty well. Not surprising that the audience likes it more than the critics. Because I'm sure the critics are looking for some sort of message that aligns with their beliefs, and it's not there. Film stars Glenn Powell, who I mentioned earlier, starred in Top Gun Maverick. Anybody, anybody, anybody you? I didn't think that was the title of the movie. Any, I think it was Anybody But You. And has Hitman on Netflix. Have not seen that. I'll have to check it out. So what's the movie about? The movie about is about uh, Kate Carter. Daisy Edgar Jones plays the main protagonist. A former storm chaser haunted by a devastating encounter with Toronto during her college years who now studies storm patterns on screen safely in New York City. She's lured back to the open plains by her friend Javi. to test a groundbreaking new tracking system. Basically, it's a radar system that the military used because Javi went into the military after that um, devastating encounter with Tornado. There, she crosses paths with Tyler Owens, Powell, the charming and reckless social media superstar who thrives on posting his storm-chasing adventures with his raucous crew, the more dangerous, the better. So. There you have it, Twisters, the loose trailer from the movie Twister back in 1996. And again, I'll say it, I think they had a couple missed opportunities, but hey, still, it doesn't take away from the movie. The movie's excellent. Go see it if you haven't already. And uh, that's, that's my two cents on Twisters. I enjoyed it. So have you seen it yet? Are you planning on seeing it? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.